Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the ESPN preview for the um, Pedraza versus Comey 140 pound showdown that's taking place on Saturday, August 27th um, on ESPN. Pedraza and Comey in the main event and then you have uh, the undefeated. Well, you know, we're going to get into the undercard, the co-feature real quick. Uh, Jared, the real big baby, Anderson, undefeated, power punching, American heavyweight, taking on um, veteran uh, Ravkanen, Ravkanen heavyweight uh, is his name. He, um, you know, I mean, Jared Anderson should, you know, walk right through this guy. Um, you know, you never want to count your chickens before they're hatched, but, it, you know, on paper, this is it, definitely a mismatch in favor of... Um, Anderson and he should uh, he should get in there and keep on his winning ways. He's a heavyweight and it's a and he's an entertaining guy. He's got some pop, so it's going to be a, a a good co feature right here. You're going to want to check out uh, Anderson. He's a tough kid, and I'm looking forward to seeing him back in action. Now we go we get to the main event though. Jose Pedraza, the former two division world champion. He's been champ at 130 pounds. He's been champ at lightweight 135. And he is trying to um, continue to make a name for himself at 140 and get into title contention. He's taken on, though, the former lightweight champion, Richard Comey. This is a big crossroads fight right here for these two guys. The loser, you know, really might have to consider retirement. You got Pedraza, who has um, been in the ring with the best. He really has. His losses are all notable ones to Javante Davis, Vasily Lomachenko, um, uh, Jose Cepeda, and his last fight in February, he lost to Jose Ramirez. So, you know, this guy, not a stranger to fighting, top level competition, but now he's, you know, this is, in my opinion, it could be his final straw because it's his third attempt to get into a title shot here at 140 pounds. He's lost two fights since he's moved up in weight. A couple years back, he lost to Zepeda. Pretty, you know, clean, 10-round uh, unanimous decision, and then he lost to Ramirez where he got outworked back in February. So now he's coming in against the power-punching Comey, who is trying to make a name for himself in a second weight class. This guy's been a career lightweight. Um, he's been, you know, a dominant fighter, a lot of power. He's coming off of a loss to Vasily Lomachenko, you know, and he's lost a couple fights his, his last couple years at lightweight to the best, though. Tiafimo Lopez knocked him out. Vasily Lomachenko dominated him over 12 rounds. Now he's coming into this main event, making his debut at 140 against a a solid former two division champ so this is a again it's a very good matchup right here i'm very interested in seeing what happens on august 27th on espn um my prediction on this fight is i i can see it going either way i think it's close to 50 50 but i just see richard comey winning this fight and i'll tell you why comey has that banger style he does he comes in he bangs and that's going to clash with a kind of a boxer puncher uh, style of Pedraza. But Comey has always been a very powerful lightweight. Always. He's, he's carried his power well. And I've all, and ever since he got knocked out against Tiafimo Lopez, I've been lobbying for Comey to move to 140 because he spent so many years at lightweight. It's like, hey, your power of all things that's going to carry it's most likely your power and he's always been a big power puncher at 135 so i've always been interested in seeing how he's going to do at 140 and comey's a hungry guy he comes in great shape um pedraza's hungry and he comes in great shape too so again i think pedraza could pull off the victory here don't, don't get me wrong um but i just see comey having more effect with his style and his power punching ability and I think he's going to beat Pedraza. It could end by a stoppage in the middle to later rounds, or it could end by a decision. If it goes to the scorecards, um, I could see either one of these guys outclassing the other, but I think it's more likely it's going to be a close fight. So 
We're gonna see what happens. This Saturday, August 27th, we got a very good crossroads main event between Pedraza and Comey. Um, each guy trying to live another day and get back into title contention in another weight class. And then you got the real big baby, Jared Anderson, undefeated heavyweight on the rise in the co-feature. So that should be good. That's what I got. That's the ESPN preview for Saturday, August 27th. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.